Hi everybody, I'm Matthias here, back with a new review on a new plugin from UJAM called UFX Reverb. According to UJAM, this is an artificial reverb designer plugin. So you will have uh, 10 uh, algorithmic reverb modes, 25 creative filter modes, example megaphone, and a unique auto ducking function, and finally 50 finisher effects. So without further ado, let's take a dive into the plugin and see what this means in reality. Right, so this is the user interface of UFX Reverb. At the top we can select the different uh, reverb modes. To the left we have the time setting, size and the pre-delay. In the middle we have some graphics for uh, the mix amount. There's a freeze button, we have a ducking function and the reverb character parameters like diffusion, damping and modulation. To the right in the blue area we can first activate the filter which has a, a ton of different filter types. Everything from telephone, megaphone, saturation, lo-fi. But uh, we'll dive deeper in this later in the video. And below the filter we can activate the finisher effects with everything from tremolo, auto pan, slicer and gates to choruses, vibrato and more advanced and far out there effects. But we also have some delays and the glitch effects. Okay, so let's first walk through the different reverb modes uh, with a simple guitar riff in the background. Now, if you like my demo here and want to grab UFX Reverb, I highly recommend using my affiliate link in the video description. That way you also support my channel since I get a small portion of the purchase. So that's the freeze effect, uh, which is an excellent uh, effect uh, to use uh, when you want to create uh, like ethereal uh, drones or ethereal pads kind of sounds. Okay, so let's finally test the gated and reverse the reverbs. So 
So that's a quite a versatile selection of uh, reverbs from uh, the reverb modes. Okay, so let's take a look at a few different sounds from this mix and uh, see what kind of reverbs we can use for the different sounds. So let's begin with this uh, melody. Here we have the warm mode with a quite high size and uh, the time at 50%. I think that the time only shows at percent. It would have been great uh, to have uh, time shown in seconds and maybe milliseconds too. So, so you can adjust it more accurately if you need like uh, 0.5 seconds reverb or something. But as far as I can tell, we can only see the time in percentage at the moment. As soon as you adjust the size, the sound will, uh, will be cut until you release the size button, because uh, I think uh, the plugin needs to recalculate uh, the algorithmic reverb. See, as soon as I hit that uh, size button, it uh, recalculates the reverb. So that's the warm mode for uh, the melody. Then we look at the damp chords. The default sound without any reverb sounds like this. So let's add UFX Reverb. On the Finger the Guitars track uh, I'm using a patch uh, called uh, Fractal Dance, which I think is uh, actually the default patch that uh, loads as the default patch when you when you load up the plugin. So this uh, patch uh, actually makes use of the filter, so it adds the mid cut filter and also a finisher effect called time is fleeting. And let's remove the finisher and filter and hear the sound without any of these. That's uh, just like uh, the raw reverb with the basic reverb type, the reverb mode. And then let's activate the filter so we can hear the difference when we activate the mid-cut filter. And then finally the finisher. Sick. So you can definitely create some really cool uh, like granular uh, effects uh, with this reverb and the finisher effects here. So let's try some of the other finisher effects on this uh, particular patch or this uh, particular sound.
Jetzt haben wir unsere Glitch Effects. So that's the shop shop, and I really like this uh, effect, uh, this uh, particular effect combination because uh, it reminds me of these uh, like a rhythmic aura kind of uh, sample libraries or uh, like effects, and I, it's really useful when you're uh, creating like film scores or like uh, background sounds for for your tracks. So I definitely definitely recommend experimenting here with uh, the different uh, finisher effects. Let's go back and try the randomize feature. So we can use that guitar sound again. And let's press the surprise button and see what kind of effects we get with the filter and the finisher and these other, these other parameters. Right, so that was a brief demo of UFX Reverb. I think it's a quite versatile sound design tool, especially with the filter and these uh, creative like finisher effects. So I definitely recommend this if you're into creating your own kind of sounds and uh, pads and, and drones and stuff. Again, if you decide to check out this plugin, make sure to use my affiliate links in the description to this video. Okay, so if you have any feedback, questions or comments, please write that in the comment section. My name is Matthias and I see you in the next video. Bye.